just kind of browsing YouTube and she's been loving it so it's a kind of Lion King spinoff or something but anywho good afternoon almost good evening you're watching my real life vlogs and me and Anne are actually on our way out yes girl we are leaving the house we are on our way out out like gathering our masks and everything today was the day I set my uh, demonstration video live I don't really like calling certain videos tutorials because it's like tutorial I'm just demonstrating really so let's call it what it is so I put a little bit of uh, curl defining cream because it's getting really really frizzy like the frizzies are just out of control so I put a little edge control and all of that and I still have these clips on here because I actually had retwisted some of the roots along the front here just so they could look more um, you know more manicured and everything y'all these are really looking like locks like this is what happens when my hair goes for a while Without being taken down so it's looking like lock so I'm just gonna kind of roll with it like this so I'm just kind of struggling trying to hurry and get her and I ready to leave out we're kind of out of practice with our routine because we haven't really gone out at all in like two months so um, I'm just trying to like get back into the swing and it's taken me forever to get all of our stuff ready and gathered and everything but we're working on it <laughs> Anne's wearing her new sneakers today that daddy got her. He's just so obsessed with buying me and her Jordans, but I ain't mad at it. She's gonna wear her cute little jacket that daddy also got her for Christmas. This cute little pea coat type of thing. So she's gonna throw this on. And then we are out the door, girl. I'm taking so many things because we're going to my mom's house. The whole purpose is because we're visiting my uncle who is in a kind of assisted living facility because he has some major health issues right now nothing related to the pandemic so i'm bringing hands like toilet seat cover and all that just because i don't know how long we're going to be at my mom's place so what am i doing in here i am about to put on some socks and some shoes and we're going to go ahead and head on out me and Ann are low-key twinning we both got on our jordans hers are newer than mine though but yeah, let me turn off the lights back here and then we can leave. Ooh, child, trying to get out of the house. Honey, I'm actually bringing a backpack instead of a purse because I need the space. I need more room. Come on, Ann. Get on mommy's back. Come on. Come on, mommy express. Ready, go. Hold on. Woo! <laughs> Hold on, stinky butt. Animal sounds. Hold on. Okay. Okay, come on, let's put your sweater on. Here. Okay, let's zip it up. Now let's put the jacket on. Ready? Yay, look at you, you look so sporty. You look so sporty and cute. I'm obsessed. You look sporty and cute, mommy. Girl, you stylish. She like, give me these Cheez-Its and shut up. It's lunchtime, we're gonna stop and grab some chicken nuggets or something. Here, we'll have a couple of these for now. And then we're gonna get some chicken nuggets, okay? Look her little cool self. I was nowhere near this cool when I was her age. Like, nowhere near. As we prepare to go out, um, I've got my mask here. And then I got actually two mask options for Ann. Hit this light so y'all can see. So this one is one we got from the hospital. And then my cousin actually makes these masks and she made Ann one. It looks like Minnie Mouse print. So we'll see which one she allows me to put on her. We will see. And I'm also gonna bring this hand cleansing gel. This is basically just a hand sanitizer gel. I actually ordered this, I'll put the link below. I ordered this from a black owned business, actually a black female chemist who developed this formula and I was able to order it right from her website. And it smells so nice, it's got lavender infusions. So good, so I'll put the link for you guys so you can not only get some hand sanitizing gel but also you can support a black owned business, you can support a black scientist, all that good stuff. 
No. <laughs> you know you have to be looking like me. Yeah. <laughs> Put that thing on your nose and get to the road now. Yeah. Put that thing up there. <laughs> She didn't really want it. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> I am not even sure. Hun. Uh. Mass business is not the business. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta smile with your eyes. Right. The guy in the drive thru was like, have a nice day. I was like, right. <laughs> <laughs> you would be the one on the floor playing Jay Z. <laughs> Hilarious. I had to get my. And I hate waiting. Oh, get your ass in here. Let's rock. Ah, 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 ah. Rock. Ah, 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 ah. She's so happy with you guys. Alternative radio, 90s. Yeah. So we're stopping at McDonald's to get my uncle a beverage. And. I I never saw this before. It looks like they got some people out here to pass you your food so you don't get too close to the window. How you doing? This is great, right? Yes, sir. There you go. Thank you, sir. How you doing? Uh -huh. Wow. Anyway, yeah, we're headed to my uncle. Hello? Hey, Buta, you got your food? Uh, yeah, she just brought it in. Tell her open up the curtains. There she go, okay. <laughs> you get to see Ann. You get to see her little round face looking like me. Hey, <laughs> see. Hey, Uncle Buddha. You can see her. <laughs> you see Vaughn. I saw him waving. <laughs> you gave her this blue sucker. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we love you, Uncle Buddha. I love you too. All right. I got the beans and everything. I'm going to call you later and see how you like it. Alright, bye bye. Bye. Love you. Aww. Just made Ann's breakfast. She's having peanut butter, waffles, out the toaster, apple, and turkey bacon. And she's enjoying her breakfast with her Muppet Baby Pals. Y'all, I ordered these on Amazon for her. Since she seems to really like the cartoon. So, good morning. <laughs> Ooh, looking a mess, girl. We just woke up. You can hear it in my voice. I wanted to show you all the progress of Anne's little garden over here. This is so exciting for me. Okay, we received a little quarantine care package from Dove. They wanted us to try some of their new body washes. And Speaking of my friends at Dove, there is a giveaway happening on my Instagram page right now. So head on over for your chance to win. Two winners are going to be receiving the entire line of Dove Instant Foaming Body Washes. So head on over. They also included this indoor gardening set for Ann. So we went ahead and planted the things, girl. This is the sunflower, okay? This is all happening after only like, I would say 48 to 72 hours this has happened. So this is really, really cool. Once they grow out fully inside, you can actually transplant these to like an outside garden, which will, this will motivate me to do that because my mom has really been pressuring me and so has my dad and my friend Jerry for that matter to get an outdoor garden going. I was trying to figure out where to put it. And also y'all, speaking of outdoor stuff, I am, I, I've already made the decision to incorporate some more um, activities for Anne and little kids and stuff for back here. So I'm just trying to decide like which one to get, but we're definitely getting like a little playground back here. Probably gonna put it in this corner right here. So yeah, most likely doing that pretty soon. And um, 
Oh, let me show y'all an update on my cabinets. By the time this one goes up, it'll be like two vlogs ago where I was reorganizing my spice cabinet. And I had mentioned to you guys that I was going to get a couple Lazy Susans to put in there and all that. So let me just show y'all what it looks like now. So there's the spices organized. There's my Lazy Susans. And then I ended up buying some more food storage containers for some of that random stuff that was up top. So far, this has been working out really, really good. Over here, I just have sauces basically hot sauce jerk sauce worcestershire sauce liquid smoke soy sauce <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's that cabinet and then this is what the lazy susans look like in this this other one here i just have syrups and honey makes so much sense and then over here i just have oils and some random chia seeds <laughs> so yeah my kitchen is organized huh i don't need to do anything else i think i'm satisfied with this y'all anthony is so funny and cute he's so ready to travel he bought all of us passport covers <laughs> They're really cute. Let me show y'all how they look. Girl, this is so funny. He got flued out. <laughs> so he got one for him, me, Ann, and her big brother, Cameron. You pulling yours out, Ann? You pulling it out, silly butt? Get your butt over here. We just took our baths and stuff. And I just put my hair in these two little ponytails. You know what I'm saying? Girl, these twists want to be locks so bad. If you guys haven't seen my video on these twists, I will link it for you. But yeah, I did a detailed video all about these twists and girl, I've had them in now for, I don't know, a little over a week, maybe, maybe it's been 10 days, I don't know, I haven't really been counting. But I do know that this is the longest I've ever had twists in my hair and I honestly have no immediate plans to take them out. Like we could roll with this for another week if you ask me. And I've been really tempted to just like let them accidentally lock up so I can be like, oh look, my hair locked up. Now I guess I gotta have locks. Hmm. Really tempted to do it, but I know I'm gonna miss loose hair, so I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, this is all Ann does when she comes in here is pull these chairs apart. The cushion has got to come out. You need to cut it out, girl. lunch she is ready for lunch y'all she is eyeing those apples and she looks she opens the cabinet so that she can step right up and grab it you want that apple okay we're gonna do the apple with the complete lunch not just an apple mommy if she had it her way she'd just eat an apple for lunch and breakfast and dinner um we have to make a complete meal and yeah okay mommy's gonna make it right now let me put the camera down okay you guys I love this ninja I mentioned that my husband got me this for Mother's Day um, he's more in love with it than I am in terms of the appeal of it all, but I really like it since we got it. And it does help me out quite a bit with um, Ann's lunches. I can get her favorite meals prepared in like 10 minutes, and that's kind of insane. Girl, what are you talking about? Come on. Starting with the apples, her favorite. <laughs> it's just such a good thing to be able to get her lunch on the table in about 10 minutes and have it still be something that she loves and something that's hot and something that's interesting. So while we're sitting here with her, let me give you guys a couple quick updates. So in a few vlogs back, I remember mentioning that Anne's school was reopening. Her therapy center, we call it school, because it does operate out of a place of education. Plus they have a preschool immersion program, which she's a part of, so we call it school. But anyway, they've reopened and they've been open now for probably a, f a few weeks, a couple weeks, not a few weeks, I'll say a couple weeks. But Anne didn't return because I wasn't comfortable yet. But at the place that we are now, I actually am a little bit more comfortable with having her go back. So she is slated to re-enter the center very soon. It's not gonna be right away, but we are in talks of getting her schedule back up and running. Um, there's a few therapists who didn't return to the company, so they're having to kind of rework that. She has a new BCBA. 
um, who I spoke with today. I had a phone call. I didn't include the footage on here, but I had a um, a meeting of sorts with her, and we talked through like the scheduling and kind of what some of the changes would be to her therapy program because they get a new treatment plan every six months, and that's through a reevaluation of where the child is developmentally. And it's a great thing that the therapy um, treatment plan changes because that means that the kid is experiencing some form of positive development. So there's some things that she doesn't need anymore and then there's gonna be some new things that, she, that we're gonna be incorporating. So we were just talking through all of that. Um, Let's go. Mm. Yeah. So she'll be starting soon, probably within the next two weeks. So I'm wow. excited. My husband's comfortable with it. My mom's comfortable with wow. it. Everybody feels like it's a good thing. Wow. I've gotten a lot questions lately about my stepson Cameron a ton actually you guys are starting to get a little bit more audacious with your questioning people are coming on video comments people coming on IG photos you guys Cameron hasn't gone anywhere okay we actually just bought him a car a few days ago um, when I say we I'm talking about all of his parents so his 16th birthday uh, gift and all that so he's doing really great looking into colleges and things like that for the future and all that. He's still very much so a part of our lives. He is just not really interested in appearing on the vlogs. So when he is around, I do not vlog because I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable. I've actually talked to his mom about this and everything and she's not even really sure why he feels this way. And I think the older he gets, the more comfortable he'll be. So he's actually gonna be over here in a couple of days and we're gonna be having a family time thing. And I probably won't vlog it, we'll see. I'll see kind of where he is with his stance on it and everything, but I probably won't vlog, you know? And that's just because he doesn't really want me to. So that's why you guys haven't seen him. So ain't no conspiracy, okay? Ain't no scandal. He just don't want to be on here. really one of those days where I'm just like are you nuts so I am doing the most where are my shoes it's such a beautiful day though so I decided to wake up and go to the grocery store so I did that I'm glad I did that because we were in need of some food and stuff and it was such a great experience putting all my groceries away with all of my new organizational stuff I was gonna film me kind of organizing and cleaning out the fridge and freezer, but I decided not to because I was kind of like, you know, when you're in the mode of doing something, I'm like, I don't feel like grabbing no camera. But I bought some new organizational items for in here. Not as many or as thorough as I would have wanted, but definitely something to make my life a little bit easier. So I just went ahead and put everything away. And now I'm really excited about my landscaping and everything. So my mom is actually on her way over. And so I wanted to like pull up all the weeds so that we can go to the nursery, buy flowers, buy plants and plant them because it's such a beautiful day today. It's like 80 degrees. I even turned my air on because it was really hot. You know, I'm just having a really great time, but I'm doing a little bit too much. I had ordered some more storage for our master closet upstairs and I was going to be filming the whole process. And I am actually filming the whole process, but I had to stop because I noticed that one of the pieces was damaged. So I had to kind of regroup, you know, go email the company, take pictures, all this jazz, you know how it goes. You're already upset because something that you paid your hard earned money for arrives damaged. And then you also have to kind of recalibrate because I was in the mode of putting the thing together. Actually, my husband and my stepson, they were gonna put it together for me. And now I have to start all over because a piece is gravely damaged. So I'm kind of annoyed yet kind of relieved that I don't even have to deal with that right now. But anyway, it's a crazy day already. 
I'm trying to talk a little bit low because I don't want to upset my husband because I don't want him to think that I'm disappointed in the fact that he can't help me build it today. So I'm just trying to manage emotions and things of that nature. So I'm going to put my shoes on, head outside and pull some weeds because that's therapeutic for me. That's going to help me redirect my emotions right now because I don't want to get upset about the thing. He's trying to come out here. You can't come out here. You need shoes. You need shoes, mommy. I've been jamming all day. Please. Are you ready for flowers? Ready for flowers. Where's my You look aunt? so cute. She's right here on, on the porch. All, this. Check it, uh, all right, be careful, boys. <laughs> okay. Did you say be careful, guys? Hey, be careful, guys. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, snap. Look at Ann, she wants to run with them. No, oh, Lord have mercy. We're still pulling weeds. Let's go. It's a fish fry. <laughs> My mom is making perch. We decided to fry it outside because, you know, AC. It's noon. We're all dressed and showered and everything. Me and my mom are about to head out and buy some flowers and start these flower projects because basically all we're doing today is dealing with the planters. I wanna get a whole bunch of planters for like the backyard and the patio space and everything. Plus the planters that I already have out front. I'm not gonna plant flowers in the landscaping kind of like I did last year because we are making some changes to the landscaping and my hair is still twisted. I just put it up in a bun. It almost looks like loose hair. I'm gonna have to take these out tomorrow. They're gonna be locks next week. So yeah, y'all, we're gonna put some flowers in these pots right here. And then I'm going to, I have this idea that I wanna put pots for each of these tiki torches, like how they have it on Pinterest. I thought it was a really good idea. And then I really think I should be having hanging pots from my pergola. So we've decided I'm only doing, the only colors I'm doing is white and purple. And then any flower that fits that is fine. So these are petunias. So how much are these? These are 277. So it's worth it for me to just be reasonable and get this in. And they handle sunlight and everything. Okay, fine. She really want me to get these petunias. Get the petunias. All the stuff to fit in the trunk is a feat in itself. Because there's, there's a, there was a nice little nook over there, and there's a nook right here too, actually. Such a science. There may be more room if I move this over. Yep, right in there. You see it? Right in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this buggy um, over here. It's, it's, it's real hard to do this um, in this heat, this mask thing. Over it. Okay. 
But yeah, it, it was so crowded out here. Everybody is getting these patios, backyards, landscapes, awesome. Awesome. homes together. I mean, when you're home, you kind of want your home to be together. So Home Depot and Menards were both really crowded today, except Home Depot was crowded to the point of having to wait in line or to get inside because they have capa capacity uh, regulations and stuff like that. But Menards, we were able to just walk right in, but I was thinking to myself, there are so many people in here. Everybody had a mask. Everyone's got on a mask, yeah. But anywho, heading home. She's holding it. Oh, oh, good job, Ian. Help, help, help her hold it. Yeah, she needs to know how the right way. Yeah, she did. She just had this. She always went to the little tips. Good job. What are y'all doing anyway? I have to move some of this dirt out because oh. I need to. Um, okay, that's good girl. Good girl, Ian. Good job, Annie Boo. Good afternoon. This is day 425 of Operation Flowers. At least that's what it feels like. But it's day three though, for real. <laughs> so we are out here again today, you guys. Um, we had to cut it short last night because we ran out of uh, potting soil. So we had to go back to Menards today, get that. So we did that. And we have pretty much finished all the flowers back here. And then we need to do up front. And I'm gonna show you guys the finished look at the end. So you gotta keep watching because I'm gonna show you everything we did at the end, not right now. He's a, Annie's garden, she's a garden girl. Oh, McDonald had a, uh-oh. Uh -oh. E-I-E-I-O. She's like, how did that happen? Uh, uh, to she's like, who did that? Right. Another thing that happened last night is that we didn't realize that all this wood had got soaked out from the rain. So um, we didn't really get a good fire going. So I had all of the wood earlier spread out all over the patio here so that it can get that good sunlight and dry out. And so it kind of worked. We're gonna see later when we light it back up. But I think it worked just from touching it. You know, it seems like it dried out pretty good. Mom's working on those big pots. We got petunias this time. I don't know if you guys remember last season we had mums in these and they mound it pretty well. See what you want for these, well what I want for these is for the flowers to kind of mound, you know? And so the moms were doing a good job with that, but these petunias will as well. Not as good as the impatience, though, right, mom?
me show y'all everything that I did. First of all, let's look at me, okay? I feel so fresh and clean. I just got the shower. And I wet my hair a little bit, you know. And um, you know, no makeup, you know my use. So let me show y'all what we did out here. So right when you come out the door, I've got these two black pots. Y'all saw these at my house warming. Y'all saw them in my patio reveal video. We just had to take the dead mum roots out and then we planted these petunias, so those are cool. I do plan on putting some hanging baskets here and here, so that's for later. We just had dinner over here. Uh, okay, so this little area over here, this is my little bistro cafe area. This is where you would presumably have coffee, tea, where you could just sit with a person and chill while you look at the fire or whatever. So I got this pot planter from Menards. Yeah, and then I just put one of these Majesty Palms that I got from Ikea out here. This is one of the ones that I brought inside. Yeah, now it's back outside, so that's that. I put the tiki torches down in there and just planted some petunias. So they're just the same. And then over here, I did the same thing. I ordered these planters off of Amazon. And then we, of course, hung the string lights. Y'all know that. Brought the pillows out. Brought out my gold candle holders, which I've, I bought these from uh, Pier 1, but I never actually use them a whole lot until I got these. Now I think I'll bring them out a lot more because they match, but I got these two um, hanging lanterns from Menards. I put a candle in them. I'll probably light those tonight just to see how they look. I originally had the hanging plants up there, but Anthony hated it so much, you guys. So I actually went ahead and gave the, the whole thing, both of them, to my mom so she can hang them at her place. And so I had to go and get these lanterns and he liked these so much more. So we're gonna go with these instead. So we just did the two planters on the stoop. We had these last year. These succulents end up growing back. So that was really, really nice. So these are perennials. We put some petunias and then I forgot what this thing is called, but we went ahead and put that in the back. So once that fully grows out, it's gonna be really, really nice. This thing is gonna get taller. Thank you for helping us today with everything. We would not have been able to do it without you. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Listen to smooth jazz. She's having a good old time. A blast. <laughs>